I've decided to combine my weekly devotional and my pro tips that I send to my business clients for two reasons. First and foremost is that the subject matter I cover should be applied to both your personal and your professional growth. And second, I simply don't want to frustrate people with too much email. So moving forward, you will only receive one email a week from me. That said, today I want to talk about a subject that definitely bridges the gap between home and work, and that is conflict avoidance. Are you ready to force some conflict into your life? So many of us live safe lives, striving for comfort, and never really grow to the full potential that Jesus has for us. One of the big reasons we don't grow is because we avoid conflict at all costs. I spent a lot of time in my life avoiding conflict because I wanted to please people and I just wasn't really good at confrontation. I would stuff everything and use logic to talk myself out of the confrontation. Or worse yet, I just blame myself. I was so critical of myself anyway, why not blame me? None of these strategies helped me grow. It took me years, like 58 of them, to finally come to the conclusion that conflict is healthy. Instead of trying to avoid conflict, I now embrace it. At the end of the day, if we let it, conflict will keep us humble. When things don't go our way, we are forced to recognize that we can't control everything. As I've shared over the last several weeks, we can plan ahead, we can make wise decisions, but we are not the masters of our own universe. Conflict reminds us that life is not about us. It's about God first and then others before us. Paul actually reminds us to keep humble in 2 Corinthians 12, 5 through 7, where he says, I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself except about my weaknesses. Even if I should choose to boast, I would not be a fool because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain, so no one will think more of me than is warranted by what I do or say, or because of these surpassingly great revelations. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Ouch. I don't want a thorn in my flesh or a messenger from Satan to torment me, but I do want to start looking for those opportunities to allow conflict to make me grow. So this week, choose to be humble, not to be offended, trust God, love yourself, and start loving others, and then speak out of that love with a new perspective and see where conflict brings you. I think you'll find that conflict allows you to live, love, and lead like Jesus actually better than you did before. So take that new perspective. Have a great week. God bless.